Hello everyone, it's Donnie from Diamond Painting by Donnie and today you are watching a bit of a haul, haul from all sorts of different places, not just stores, but um, uh, well, yeah, stores. <laughs> I guess that's where you get hauls from. Anyway, I'm going to start by showing you um, the new pens I have. And the first ones I'm going to show you, um, I've had one of these in store already, but I found more. This is the one that I've had in the store. It says BU on the pen and it comes with the keychain. These um, will not come in the box because I find that it's not protective enough. So I wrap it in bubble wrap and I prefer to send it that way. So after I convert it, obviously, there's the one that says be you. And then there's the one that says be happy. And then the, the one that says follow your dreams. I love this color. And then this one says smile every day. And I only have two of each. So uh, if you don't, if they're not there when you go to look for them that's because they're sold out and they won't be back in stock until I can go find more and I can't always be guaranteed that I will find them okay I also have um, some Christmas ones and these are whoops that's not the right one you got a little sneak peek of one of the other ones okay these are the Christmas ones these are made out of polymer clay um, the entire handle is the polymer clay as well. So no two are going to be exactly alike because they are handmade. And this is a little snowman that says love on it with a heart. This is Santa with a wreath. And here's Santa with a star. And they do have, some of them have just little blemishes on them, but uh, they don't affect your diamond painting whatsoever. And they do come with a cap. They look like kind of look like a thimble. Um, I've also got this cute little kitty cat. I've already converted it. So there's that. You take the butt off to get to the pin. It makes a nice little desk de decoration when you're not using it. And then we got the doggy. And he is converted as well. And I have two of each of these. I can probably get more, but I don't like to overstock myself on stuff that I can just pick up locally because then I end up with a bunch of stuff and I don't know if anybody wants it. So I kind of take it slow, but yeah, these are super cute. And next we have our Mario Brothers series. We got Mario on a brick wall. And I believe I have two of each of these. We've got, I don't know what those are called. Are they called Koopas? I'm not sure, but that's this little guy. And we got a blue Mario. I first thought it was Luigi because it was blue, but it is Mario because it has an M on the cap. And we got red Mario. Then we have Princess Peach. Tesla made sure to tell me it was Princess Peach. I had three of them, but the head came apart and one of the eyebrows fell off and I can't get it to stay on without looking terrible, trying to glue it. So she's going to have to go into the pin graveyard. So there she is. These are already all, all listed in the shop. So you can go check them out as soon as you want. You can pause this video or whatever. Then we have the mushroom with the question mark on it on both sides. I think that is all for that series. Yep. And just today I got Pikachu. He came back. I got him back in stock. I have four of him. So those go pretty fast. 
Now we have the Disney series. Um, we've got a Winnie the Pooh. And then we've got Eeyore. And he doesn't look so sad in this pen. I think these are their feet. I'm not sure. <laughs> Pretty cute though. And then we've got Marie. I believe that's her name from Aristocats. Cute little kitty with the pink bow. And of course we've got Minnie. And I forgot to grab my, oh no, I dropped. Bring my cart over here. Okay. Wait. Okay, he wants to pop off. And we got Mickey. And I already converted this one, so that's why it's not with the others. So this is a little different than... Uh, which ones? Like these pins, because these pins, the cap is at the other end. These ones are actually the cap is the has the character on the cap itself so and you could pull you can pull these heads off I don't want to do it because I don't want to mess something up but they do pop off and on this is what they look like underneath here's the princess peach that broke and so they have a little ball and here's the one that's broken so you just pop it back in but her, as you can see, she's deformed, so I can't sell her. I can't, she, she's just not usable. So there's that. And yep, that's all for the Disney's. Then we've got a couple of cuties and these are the only two I have. Because, like I said, I don't know how popular they're going to be until I actually put them in the store. So I like to try them out in the store first before I purchase a, a large um, order. So we've got, I, I'm just, some people say this is green, but I just called it, calling them light yellow and dark yellow. They're awfully cute. And they're shaped like a banana. Even the tip is um, like a banana tip. And then the cap has these grooved edges on them. So you know which way to put, put it back on. So your banana's the right shape every time. So they're not, it's not perfectly round. It's kind of like in a triangular-ish shape because they made it really look really close like a banana. So those are these two guys. And I got a couple of Mike Wachowskis in, uh, one with the cap from Monsters University and then one without. They've got their hands on their hips. These are a little different than the first one I had, but I believe I have those on order as well. They should be here any day, the, just the regular ones. But um, I just have these two right now. And... I think I've shown this before, but I have plenty of minions and when I first got them in, everybody wanted them and now I can't seem to find anybody who wants to order a minion. And this one's all ready to go. It's already been converted and it's got a little face on the side there. Maybe is it because he's sad? Is that why nobody wants him? He says, somebody take me home. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, these ones I was told would be popular with the medical field. Uh, I think they, they're cool whether you're in the medical field or not, but uh, we've got these syringes. These are the three colors I have. Green, blue, and yellow. And just so you are aware, anybody ordering my pens, um, if it normally is a retractable type pen it will not be retractable as a diamond painting pen because you don't want something that's going to 
have moving parts. You, you need the, your tip to be solid in a solid state in order for it to drill pins, uh, drill diamonds properly. So this is where it would have been uh, retractable before it, it's just there now. But these are all ready to go. And the liquid, there is liquid inside, so it moves around as you move around. And they're a little thicker than the regular pink grip pens, so that's also nice. Not having to, if you have issues with grip. All right, and I've got a few more. I was just checking over here on this side. Let's see what else I have. Okay. Now we've got these pens here. They've got the crystal chamber area. thought I had another one. I guess it's only the four, right? So we've got these four designs. I've got uh, five of these, I think three of these, three of these, and two of these. Yeah. And they're just, they're like the other pins I have, which are these, except these are metal and this is plastic. And these have rainbow crystals inside. And these all have the clear gems and this has the gem on top and these ones don't. So these are in a different listing than these. And I believe as far as the pens go, I've shown you all of that. Okay, so now I got this really cool deal on AliExpress. I don't know if it was a regular deal or if it's the regular price, but it wasn't on a sale. I paid like $8 and something and I got all of this washi tape. They're all very sparkly and beautiful. And I just had to have it. There's 50 of them for $8. And that's a really good price. Of course, they're not, they don't have a lot in each of them, but I mean, they have, I mean, a decent amount, a small, decent amount, I guess, but 50 different shapes, shades. I mean, they're just so pretty. I want to just look at them. I don't want to use them. And <coughs> especially this, I mean, look at how bright that is. It's so sparkly. And some of them have just like the foil and sparkly. They have foil and sparkle in them. But there's not too many like that. But we've got some with the mermaid scales like that. And some that are completely just sparkles. And then you've got this one, which is mostly foil. So anyway, that was, I, I'll link down below where I got this in case you are interested. Now it seems like this has a little bit more or else it's a thicker because it sits up. Well, it might be just because of the rim on the edge, but look at these. They're just so pretty. The designs. And for that price, I mean, that's really cheap. I mean, uh, Alexa, what's $8 divided by 50? $8 divided by 50 is 16 cents. So look, yeah, we're, you're paying around maybe 20 cents each, which isn't bad, even for what little bit is on each of those racks. Um, I needed some tape dispensers, so I got these off of Amazon. First one, I needed a heavy one for my regular tape. And I got this one. It's a Mermazing dispenser. It says Mermazing. And I don't know what that says underneath. It looks like just O's, like bubbles or something. But it's like um, a snow globe. I really love it. It's really pretty and it's nice and it's got good weight to it. To, so it, I, it'll stay down when I'm pulling on the tape. Well, most of the time. <laughs> and then I got one for my washi tape. And I had to have this. I actually, when I took Tesla to the doctor, um, I saw a lady with this on her desk. And it came with, it comes with two of these. And these were in, in 
one was in it already and I replaced it out because I really don't want to use it yet. I have to find something perfect to use it on. But here is the tape dispenser. It's so cute. It's plastic, but it's it was cute. So I actually ran across it when I was looking for tape dispensers, forgetting that I had seen it and was going to look for it um, for myself until I actually needed a tape dispenser and then I ran across it and I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot I was going to get that. So that's those things. Um, I'm not very organized as usual, but let's go over a couple of the things I picked up in, uh, let's, between Walmart and other places. Well, I, as you know, I got a $50, well, some of you may know, I got a $50 gift card for Joann's for my birthday from Stephanie. And since I'm doing diamond paintings, there's really not a lot that I want from Joann's anymore. And, but I went there just to see because, you know, they were having all these sales and whatnot. I, I was going to get online. But I, you know, there's, they didn't have free shipping and I didn't want to have to waste some of the money on shipping and you can only use one coupon when you order online. But if you go in the store, at least my store, they let you use however many coupons you have. So I was able to, uh, get, I got this. I've been wanting some of this scarfy yarn, but it's really, it's over $10 for one of these and I didn't want to pay that. So I had a bunch of 60% off coupons and I got this one. I have, I think one other color and I know what am I doing buying yarn when I'm, I'm boxing up all my, most of my yarn right now so I can make room for my diamond painting kits. And so, but I'm going to keep out this specialty stuff like this because if I ever, if I do pick up, um, any kind of, project I'm going to uh, be doing it with the specialty stuff this stuff is extremely soft I think it's all acrylic but it's well, okay it's 78% acrylic and 22% wool it's I mean soft I don't think of soft when I think of wool but this is mainly maybe because it's mostly acrylic but it's scarfy yarn I wouldn't make a regular scarf like that with it but and make a cowl or something. I don't know. So that's one of the things I got on my gift card. And I, I've just been into this stuff lately. These are like $10 or, uh, a cake as well. And it's a uh, shawl in a cake, Mandala. I mean, red brand, lion brand. It says Mantilla that threw me off. Uh, this one's called Lotus Blossom. And this is what it looks like when you work it up, how the colors uh, blend together. But I love how it's got the sparklies in it. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, you can, you can kind of see all those silver sparklies. And it's super soft. This one is made out of 60%, 61% cotton, 34% acrylic, and 5% other fiber, which I'm guessing is the sparkles. And it's a medium weight number four. So, yeah. Now, I got this next thing I got at Costco. And I got it because I'm going to be doing some framing. And um, I want to show you how I use this in framing. Because I actually have made a... I framed the picture, of my the one that's on my profile picture on... Um, for diamond painting by Donnie is diamond painting of me and my friend Karen. And I actually framed that on a long time ago. It was back in March. I think I put it on artist canvas and I used ribbon around the outside edge. So it being Christmas time, they've got ribbon out and at Costco, this was like $7. <laughs> I think I got enough. There's 50 yards in here and it's actually got wire in it wire edged i'm not sure i like the wire edge because that's what i used in that other one and it was kind of hard to work with but with christmas paintings i figured this would go good with a lot of them and i got this after i had went and got a bunch of stuff at the dollar tree 
and I was, you know, the whole thing is I was thinking about how much I spent on ribbon at Dollar Tree, thinking, you know, how much that cost in comparison. And so I counted it as a good deal. <laughs> Excuse me. So here's the ribbon I got at Dollar Tree. So I got a red, and that's got 12 feet red glittery. I actually I took, got two of them. And, and then I got um, one of these. This has got nine feet in it. And then this one's a little bit wider and it's got nine feet as well. And it's actually wire edged. And I believe that's all the ribbon I got. But I did get some of this just to use for decoration or something. I mean, they're not very big. They're about, they, they average out 25 cents each. So, and they have their own little dispensers. I'd seen them before and I thought, oh, that's just not a good deal for that little bit of tape, but they call it laser tape. It's obviously it looks like washi tape, but it's nice and sparkly and I'll find something to use it for. Maybe I'll wrap pins with it during Christmas time. And then I found this. They actually had Scotch brand um, double-sided adhesive tape, which I have this. This is what they had at Dollar Tree. They had one of these, um, but I compared how much was in, that they gave you in this one to how much you got in this one. And you got a lot more in this one and it's wider. As you can see, the, the width difference. So they only had one of the scotch. I didn't buy it, obviously, but this is one I've had. I just thought I'd give this brand a try to see how well they work. I didn't even realize they carried double-sided tape there. You know, because a dollar is pretty good. Because I think I paid, I think I paid $4 for a three-pack or two-pack. Maybe it was $5. I don't know. It's been a while since I bought this one. So there's um, eight yards in this and it's three quarters of an inch. So 24 feet at three quarters of an inch. And this doesn't have the information on the thing, so I can't compare it, but I still have quite a bit on it. I don't use it for huge things. I used it in the one I was telling you about where I, I put ribbon around with me and my friend and the, the custom I had that I don't have it to show you because I gave it to her a long time ago. It was supposed to be a Christmas present for last year. I gave it to her a month after her birthday. So yeah. Um, I also got these pins. I just enjoy writing with the multicolored pins. I get, I've gotten uh, them a couple times on AliExpress and they just don't write um, consistently. So I don't use them on anything important. But that's what those look like. Pastels. And then I got, oh, I got more tissue paper for wrapping pins in. I like the one, the stuff with the holographic or um, velour, velour type you know, my, mylar balloon stuff material, but I also liked the pretties on these. So when I wrap the pins up, I use um, a paper, a piece of paper, tissue paper, and a, a, a piece of this kind. Sometimes it'll have the sparklies in it and sometimes it'll just be a flat color. I had to actually go to the one in two, ta two towns over to find that's the only one I have found that has the sparklies. So when I run out of the sparklies, I end up sending using this, the plain color, but I got quite a bit this time. And I purchased a couple more books because I am, I don't know, I've got one that hasn't been touched and one that's almost full, but I got this one because it's cool and it says fierce. 
I make sure they have at least 80 sheets in them and they're five by seven so that they match. And this has a dirty page, which I'm not too happy about. Just realized, just found that. Okay, so there's that one. And then I had to get this, it's Oregon Ducks, which is my team. <laughs> Although I'm not very proud of them right now, but they are local and I do support the ducks. And this has also got uh, 80 pages, five by seven, but they're perforated. So I'm not sure how well that's gonna work for my, uh, keep my keeping track of stuff. Even though they've got the title section up here, that's pretty neat because these other ones don't give you much room for that. And I, I do use that section for stuff and I never have much room on these pages. So this is, I don't know why they're in the Dollar Tree, but um, they were better, this is a better quality notebook and it is actually a collegiate licensed product. So I'm surprised they were there. I should have gotten a couple more because they're probably gonna be gone the next time I go there. Anything with our mascot or symbol symbolizing our team normally costs a lot of money. But I also decided to get another one of these. Uh, they don't last very long, but they're great for wrapping um, pens. Uh, the outer, the tissue paper part, I wrap that and tape it down and these are good for that. So I had to get one that had the pretty colors, the purples and teals and the sparklies. I've gotten to the point where I'm just basically collecting washi tape. Now the piece de resistance from Dollar Tree, at least. I don't know if I have anything else I needed to show. Oh yeah, I do. Um, I got some stuff at Joann's that uh, are actually Christmas gifts. So I don't, didn't have them in this haul because I put them away. I got Tesla in some of those dig, dig kits. Um, Smithsonian brand and it's got a lot of different rocks she'll be able to dig out of it she loves those things but I looked at this and thought this looks just like a diamond painting and I haven't opened them yet but they had three different types and it's called unicorn be me they're sparkle by number and apparently you just peel them off and stick them on and so I'm gonna open one up here with you and see what, what they're all about. But these were the different designs that they had. And you know, they're just a dollar. So I didn't think it was um, gonna kill me to give them a shot. So we will open those up in a second. I wanted to show you the last thing that we got. I actually, these were on sale 60% off. They're normally $4. So I got them for $1.60. And they are these perler sets. I've never done perler beads before, mainly because I didn't want to have to pull out my iron. Um, but they had a Santa one and it was sold out already. And I actually got these were the last two that they had. They had this one and then they have uh, this dog one. I ripped off the cover page, but we already did this one and it turned out nice. I actually left a, a nice enough hole in, hi, getting too far up, nice enough hole here in the top. So we, we were able to stick an ornament hook in and Tesla put it on the tree. So I'll probably do that with this one as well. We're gonna do it tomorrow. She, first she told me I could do this one. And then I'm like, well, you can do it too. You know, we can do it together. So we, I, all I did was handed her the beads and she laid them all down and then I did the ironing. And that was the first time I've ever done a perler bead set. I never really wanted to get into it because I've got enough hobbies as it is. But Teslin really enjoyed it. And we sat and did this all in one session. So if they're small enough like this, she might actually, it helps with the deck, her fine motor skills too, hand-eye coordination. So we're going to do this one tomorrow after school. And after that, I will take pictures of them and show you guys in the group how they turned out. I should have taken a picture of the one where, um, when this one was done, it's on the tree, like I said, but I'll just take a picture of them when they're both done and post them to you guys. 
So let's take a look at those kits. Let me just move this out of the way. All right, let's open the first one. See what we got. Okay, so that's all that's in the box. Here is, this is interesting, not sure. It just says includes one bag of gems, one poster. And there's nowhere to, it looks like there's Spots on the back here to peel something, but oh, may oh, okay. This looks a bit complicated. You have to take out the paper that covers it. So these are paper, and then you have to remove the the one. And there's nothing that tells you what color goes to what. So you have to take this bag of gems and you're going to have to determine which color matches up to the color on there. I'm just going to pour them out here. Okay. And I'm going to use my diamond painting pen because that's what we use them for. It was a yellow, so picks up nicely and then it's a sticker. So we put it on there and there we go. So these are very rudimentary uh, diamond painting kits. Um, if you have a pick me up tool, you can use it to take off the covers or something. Tweezers will work, but I would suggest sitting here and looks like there's six numbers. So you're going to want to pick the colors that are going to match to what numbers you have. So four would probably be that purple and then three is the pink, red, pinkish red. And then we've got a yellow, which is the one. And then we've got this gold color here, which is two. It's kind of orange, I guess. And then there's the blue for six and we still need five. One, two, three, one, oh, one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, the five would be the silver right here. So the silver would be for five. So there you go. There's not too many to have to worry about. So Let me just uh, make this up real quick and you can, I'll do a fast forward of it and then we can do a, a tiny little post review. So I will check back with you in a minute. Okay, guys, this is done. Um, <coughs> you ready for this post review? First of all, I'm going to take into account that um, it's a dollar. You know, if nothing else, you get a bunch of gems for a buck. Um, these are not the size of, they're, they're a little bit bigger. These, uh, let's actually pull one out and see how big they are. All right, these are a little more than three millimeters. So the average round is 2.8 millimeters and the squares are 2.5. So these are almost, almost exactly four millimeters. So they're actually quite a bit larger. So 
you know, it's not like we could use them on our diamond paintings if we had missing rhinestones. But let's go over some of the, the features of this. Um, first of all, it was missing orange. Uh, I lacked two, two oranges. I couldn't put, finish that off. And purple, I used all the purples and I was still missing one. These holes that you find here, <laughs> that's because they punched the thing so hard on some of these, as you can see, it's about to fall through on that one because they, they punched it almost all the way through the paper when they punched the top layer. So when you peel these off, you have to be very careful um, not to pull it off like I did on these, which I, I didn't even, I barely even touched a couple of them and they, they just pulled the whole thing came off. So, I mean, these would probably be good for party favors, um, to introduce somebody to diamond painting, um, children, obviously really young children. But I would suggest using a diamond painting pen still because they're still small and they're they're a bit hard to manage with your fingers, even with little fingers. Because I was noting noticing Tesla when she was doing the perler beads that you know she was having problems, you know, getting hold of how small they were. Um. So obviously, you know, because this is only a dollar again, the, the gems aren't. The best that they, they they're misshapen they have their their edges are like not perfectly round yeah i'll just show you i'm just showing you the facts it's not like it's going to deter anybody from buying it but just so i have the basics covered and showing you all about it okay here if i can get it to sit still all right there we go so a lot of them are like that, where they have an edge that's flat, but you don't notice it once it's actually on there because it's such a small little bite on this side there, you can see. It, it doesn't matter, but the, I'm kind of disappointed in the fact that, you know, I couldn't peel them off without them com coming completely off. That was the only part that was really disappointing to me and that they didn't have enough they didn't have enough of the color so they just pour a bunch in apparently is what it looks like not um you know they don't count them or anything to see how many of each color is needed i don't know exactly how they do it but um yeah i turned every single one of them over to make sure i could see the colors and the orange and the yellow were similar in color. I could probably just put yellows on, on those spots there, but yeah, um, obviously there's not enough gems and the paper is really thin. So the, um, when they go to punch the holes for the tops, they go through all the way on some points. So that's about it. I mean, it's um it would have been nice to have some kind of instructions just because I wasn't sure what to do with it at first even though I should have just used um common sense that this is a sticker but you know it took me a couple minutes and I'm sure it'll take other people you know that much time to figure it out too the I think it took me more time peeling the numbers off of the spots than it did for me to actually put the gems on. The drilling part was quick and easy, fast and simple. Um, it was tedious and annoying pulling off the papers and then finding that some of them come off completely um, was just frustrating. And missing colors, that's no big deal. Um, just put a couple of the other colors on there and you'll be fine because it's, you know, it's not something I'm going to frame. It's not something I'm probably even going to keep. It's just, um, it looks like I put a yellow on the orange anyway. Oh, so I was missing three oranges. I had accidentally put a yellow on there, but yeah, 
that's that. It looks like this one might have a little bit more into in it. Um, maybe, maybe not. And then there's this one. This, these were the only three that, that my store had. Uh, there was not a lot of uh, variation. So it was just the three variations. So this one has six colors and this one has five. And I mean, it says, please keep package for fu future reference, but what are we referencing? Okay, this is the key right here. That Well, it's not really a key. It's just telling you the colors, what colors they have in there. It, I mean, oh, you're, I mean, yeah, obviously we know one is yellow, blah, 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 but they don't have the gems themselves specified. And because I guess because there's so, they're such simple colors and there's so few of them, they figure you can figure it out as to which color is what. So every, it looks like more and more companies are doing their own versions of of diamond painting and for a dollar you can't beat that you know like I said party favors stocking stuffers uh, introduction here you want to try diamond painting out try this first see if you like it if you like it you probably like diamond painting that type of thing and I believe I've shown you everything um oh the perler bead set they did each come with um one of these and it is actually from perler brand it has the perler stamp on there and i figure um for a dollar sixty that wasn't bad um they're normally four dollars i i'm almost tempted to go buy more because that was super fun and fast and um i just wanted to show you what i have and now i'm going to actually do a video on i'm going to do a video on uh ironing because only because this was accessible and easy to get to um since like i said i've packed up most of my yarn and i've already had half of my stuff already packed up so i don't even know where my iron is but i found this one that i have that i bought when i was quilting for doing um hem um edges and this worked perfect this is all i used to do the perler beads so i'm going to try this on a smaller canvas and see how it works for me and um i i also have this so i've got these two things to use to try and iron a canvas and once i do i will um once I do one and practice on it, I will probably make a video and show you how I did and what you can do if you want to try it. So be looking for that in um, one of my upcoming videos. Um, for now, I am finished with this one, this haul video. I don't know. I don't think I missed anything or forgot to show you anything. But anyway, if you want to check out the pens, they're all in the shop, like I said. And some of the ones that were out of stock are back in stock. I do have mermaid pins back in stock. I already have sold a couple, so I believe there's eight left. They are the pink tails. And just so you know, the pink tails do not come with caps because they are made differently than the original mermaid pins that I had in the shop because I got them from a different place. I actually had to order them. And the ones that I sold the first time were from the Dollar Tree. And theirs are a little bit, made a little bit different in how, how I can, so when I go to convert them, it's different. So I, they didn't have caps that could be used with the diamond painting pens. So just be aware that the pink tails are the only thing I have in stock. And for all I know, that's the only one I'll be able to get into stock for the foreseeable future. And they do not have caps. And, um... What else? I also got some, I don't know, but the, if you just check, I can't remember all the new ones that I just recently put in, but I did update some. I've um, added new ones that I didn't have before and um, increased some of the stock on some of the others. So if you want to take a look, um, more than welcome. Just remember there's no mail tomorrow on Wednesday. So Wednesday the 5th for the, the, in 
recognition of um, George um, H.W. Bush is passing. So I've never known them to make a holiday in the middle of the week for the post office for a president dying. And I've been around for a few presidents that have died. So that was odd to me that there's no mail, but some stuff will be delivered Amazon, but not USPS. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. My question of the day for you is what is um, your favorite type of my videos to watch? I'm going to go ahead and put a poll up here as well. If you could just answer it, it'll, it should pop up right here, but just click your answer there and then answer down below in the comments section. So, um, especially if you have more things to say than just the name of the video or the type of video, if you want to tell me more about why that particular video is your favorite, I would really be interested to hear. So answer the poll and then head on down to um, answer the question in the comment section and on your way down, click that like button and I'll see you in my next video. Have fun diamond painting and whatever you do, remember to sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Bye-bye, <laughs> guys.